y'all, it's Emily Rand with ESPN Esports. I'm joined by the Minnesota Rockers God RX after another victory. So first of all, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Um, you guys have been picked as kind of like in between a dark horse and a favorite, I guess. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Atlanta's the favorite. Then you guys. How I know you answered this on broadcast already, but how likely is it that you take this entire event? Uh, for, I mean, <laughs> obviously, the team, it's very likely for us. We always had to come in confident that you're going to win an event. But honestly, with our team and what we showed at the past event, we, we can definitely take it. So take me through this match because, like, on uh, your first hard point, you guys get to 249 um, and then have to break on the final hard point. What's going through comms and, like, just what is that situation like? In that exact scenario, <laughs> I mean, just everyone just kept calm, cool, and collective as as it should be in that scenario. You don't want to you don't have frantic comms in that because then everything just falls apart one by one. I'm just happy everyone just kept calm, like I said, and did their own thing, and eventually we just broke through and got that last point. Is it more frustrating to see that, like, 249 on your screen the entire time? It, it definitely is. <laughs> you just sit there and just get a quick glimpse out of it. You're like, oh, just one more point, please, <laughs> I beg. Um, and then take me through S&D, because I think that was that was kind of the, the shakiest map for you guys. Yeah, S&D, we, we went up 5-3, and then we ended up choking that. I think it was just a little miscommunication problems, but stuff like that happens. You just, it like... It, it happened. We just said, listen, just, just just go on with the match. It is what it is. We'll talk about it after. In terms of your team communication, um, one thing that's always impressed me about you guys thus far is just how, how calm you managed to stay. So just what is your communication system like? Like who takes the lead? How do you guys kind of bolster each other up? Uh, well, we definitely have Assault and Silly as our in-game leaders, but everyone communicates very well. But we just keep in calm and cool and collective. I think our players like that more than frantic comms. I mean, I, like some players actually do mm -hmm. like that, but in the heat of the moment, like I said, it definitely helps when everything's calm. Yeah, I always think it's interesting because like, then you listen to Atlanta and they're just like, yeah, exactly. like I can't even understand what they're saying because they're talking so fast. Um, you as an individual, just in the league, have become, I, I think, one of the standout performers. Um, how, what is it like to suddenly get, like, I guess, more, more attention than you've had in the past? It's definitely a new experience <laughs> and not the two mile and horn, but I'm like very happy I finally have that because I've always been on the underdog teams in past years. But everyone's always noticed me like on that on that brink of breaking pro. Mm -hmm. But just having having this opportunity has definitely been something I'm forever grateful for. I'm just happy everyone finally notices. Do you think that's something that could have only happened in in franchising? Because I know we've talked to your team before as one of the kind of weird success stories, given like how small your market is. You guys have a really dedicated fan base already. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that's something that could have only happened now in Call of Duty as opposed to previously? Um, I would say having well, franchise Call of Duty like, definitely helped a bit. Mm -hmm. But I think if it didn't go franchise, I, I still feel like it would help us a lot more. But like I said, this gave a little a little extra boost. <laughs> I mean, you're a really good player, so I've I've no doubt that you would have gotten your recognition eventually. Thank you, thank you. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you very much. And for more Call of Duty League coverage, keep it here on ESPN Esports.